There's fun to be had in Chilton this weekend. Angela Kelly joins us with more on Crafty Apple Fest that's coming up. Hi, Angie. Hi guys, good morning. That takes place this Saturday on the County Highway Department grounds right along Highway 57 in Chilton. You can see um, there are some vendors who have set up for us today because a little bit later they're going to be giving us a sneak peek at what they'll have for sale. You can expect about 100 vendors, exhibitors to be setting up for Crafty Apple Fest. There's also going to be a lot of fun games. One of them pumpkin bowling and people really get into this. It's put on by the Future Business Leaders of America group at Chilton High School and I'd like to introduce you to Austin. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, so what are your tips for the pumpkin bowling? Pumpkin bowling is exactly like regular bowling, just that you're using a pumpkin instead of a ball. We run from 9 to 4 um, today. The best way to hold the ball would probably be right here on the um, smooth surface. Mm -hmm. if we break off the stems to make it a little bit easier, but this will allow you to roll down the ball, the pumpkin, as smoothly as possible. Okay, and what's fun about it is people, um, this is a competition. People can um, keep an eye on the scoreboard all day. Talk about that. Correct. They can come back and check the leaderboards. There's a leaderboard up all day long, and if you've got the chance to be at the top of the leaderboards or first, second, or third, you get to claim your respective prize basket at the end of the day. Very cool. I'm going to give my, I'm going to try it out here. I'm going to let you hold on to this, okay? I did pretty good on that picture, Keith. Did you guys see that? Yes, Not we bad. did. It was great. No pressure. Whoa. Oh, wow. Very, very good. nice effort. Good. Almost, almost, almost. Tell us about why um, this is beneficial to FBLA and the students who are a part of it. Well, FBLA is a student-run national organization which tries to mesh the education and business aspect of school in a positive outlook. This mainly fundraises all of our statewide competition and our membership dues for the year. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So come on out. It's a fun game and it's going to help these kids out as well. I want to introduce uh, Polly Rowland from Polly's uh, Farm Market here in Chilton. And uh, these pumpkins came from you guys. Yes, the pumpkins are starting to get ready and we brought these out of the field yesterday, got them all washed up. We donate them to the festival. We're part of the community and we would just want to give back to the community. How's the pumpkin crop doing? It really looks good this year. Yeah, compared to last year, mm -hmm. any? Yeah, it's a lot better than last year. We didn't have hardly any rain. These pumpkins only have been rained on, I think, three times. So we're, we're really lucky this year. So when do you think places like yourself and other pumpkin farms will be open for business for people to come and buy pumpkins? Well, we're actually opening Saturday. So you can come on out here and then stop at the farm, too. And we're, we're busy getting a few pumpkins up. We won't get them all up, but we'll get some of each kind up. Yeah, mm -hmm. Very, very cool. And of course, uh, you can bowl with some here out here in Chilton on Saturday guys lots of fun we're gonna uh, meet some of the vendors coming up in our next segment back to you